Hi, and welcome to the Innovative Mindset Podcast. I'm your host, Isolde Trachtenberg. On Mondays, you get my conversations with peak performing thought leaders, entrepreneurs, and creatives. Every week, you can get their secrets so you can raise your game too. On Wednesdays, I'll be giving you exclusive insights into my big takeaways from the interview on Monday. And on Fridays, you'll get a dose of inspiration and motivation to level up your own innovative spark. Today's episode is going to knock your socks off. DM me at Isolda T with your biggest takeaway. I'd love to hear what you're thinking. And now, let's get on with the show. Hey there, and welcome to the Innovative Mindset Podcast. I'm Isolde Trachtenberg. I'm your host. And today I want to talk about getting yourself sparked up, right? So Halloween is tomorrow. Yay! And I want to talk about how Halloween can spark your creativity and your innovative spirit. Even though things are weird and different this year, we've got an election cycle, we're in the middle of a pandemic, there are so many things going on. But still, I can't help thinking that we can still infuse the creative spirit into Halloween and keep motivated and keep innovating. So how are some ways that you can do that? First, there's music. Get the music flowing. It could be the Monster Mash or it could be something scarier, Carmina Burana. That, you know, have you ever noticed that that's always played whenever there's something evil going on in a movie? Evil. They play Carmina Burana. Dun, dun, dun. All of that. You could also play music that's a little bit older. Halloween is an ancient holiday, but it got sort of prominence in the 19th century in England when people would gather on the night right around October 31st. It was commonly associated with the last harvest festival. Uh, where people would harvest their crops for the year before sort of hunkering down for winter. Anyway, so one of the things that kids would do is they'd walk from house to house and they would ask for soul cakes. Soul cakes are kind of like little biscuits with uh, often either raisins or uh, some kind of berry uh, making a little cross on top of the biscuit. It's It was known as a soul cake. So Kids would walk from house to house in their villages and towns, and they would wear costumes, and they would ask for soul cakes, and they would sing this song called Soul Cake. So if you want a quick listen to that, I'm going to just I'm gonna play you my version of it. I do this Halloween presentation at companies and events and, and colleges and schools talking about the history of Halloween because it's a, such an interesting holiday and because you get to be so creative in your costuming and in, in the things that you get to do. So I, I recorded myself singing this song, Soul Cake, so that you can hear it. And I'm going to play it for you now. Soul cake, soul cake, please good missus a soul cake, an apple, a pear, a plum, or a cherry, any good thing to make us a merry soul cake, soul cake, please good missus a soul cake, an apple, a pear, a plum, or a cherry, an apple, a pear, a plum, or a cherry, All right, I hope you like that. So what else can you do? You can make Halloween foods. Here's here's a really interesting, fun idea. If you like cauliflower, take a cauliflower and carve it into the shape of a skull and then put out some dip and you can have 
cauliflower skull dip. You can also make a Swamp Thing monster out of avocados, make guacamole, and then put two black olives and pimentos in for eyes so that you can sort of get creative with this idea. I know that I know we're not going out and trick-or-treating, most of us, a lot of us are not doing that uh, because of the pandemic, because of, you know, sort of observing safety precautions. But that doesn't mean that we can't do something fun for ourselves. So you can do something with food, you can do something with music, and you can also, if you're an entrepreneur or business owner, I encourage you, even though it's not Valentine's Day, send some Halloween greetings to the people on your list, particularly if you have a fun photo, like a fun autumn photo or a beautiful photo with, you know, the gorgeous, we're we're out, we're a lot of the world is uh, possessed right now. (laughs) No, how do I say this? A lot of the world has those autumn colors, right? So if you're in a place that has those autumn colors, take a picture and say, thinking of you on Halloween, I hope you're having a good one with friends and family and send it out to your list. Just no, not asking for anything. Just send it out to let them know you're thinking about them. That's another way to sort of observe Halloween and get that part of yourself going. Because one of the things that we need to do when we're trying to break open that innovative mindset so that we can access it is we have to give ourselves permission to think differently. You can doodle, you can draw a spider web if you want to stay in that Halloween theme, because innovation starts with giving yourself that permission to think outside the box and heck, to throw the box out altogether sometimes. You have to cultivate that innovative mindset and you'll start getting bigger and better ideas in other parts of your life, not just this overeat candy holiday, right? So the important thing when we're trying to cultivate that innovative mindset is to remember that it's about allowing the ideas to bubble up. And we, we get that place, into that place of ideas bubbling up when we open ourselves to those ideas. Starting with something that you draw or write or create or take a photo of and then express is one of the best ways to do it. And Halloween affords an, a real opportunity to do just that. So if you do any of that, or if you take a photo, or if you doodle, uh, or if you (laughs) create a skull and crossbones out of a cauliflower and some broccoli, take a picture of it and and drop me a line with it or tag me in a post at at Isolda T on Instagram. I'd love to see it. I'm going to be doing something like that. I think I'm going to make a swamp thing monster and maybe I'll get my husband who's a little bit better at carving than I am to go ahead and carve a cauliflower skull for us for Halloween because even though we're not going out and even though we're not trick-or-treating, we can still have that spirit of fun and play infuse what we're doing. And that's one of the doorways to creativity and innovation. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Join me next week where I will have the fabulous T. Morris, who is the author of Podcasting for Dummies, Twitch for Dummies, Discord for Dummies, and many other books, fiction ones as well as nonfiction. He's going to be back on the show because November 4th is when the fourth edition of Podcasting for Dummies actually comes out. I'm super excited to have him on the show. If you're a regular listener, you know that he was just on the show in August and we had this huge conversation about social media and Discord and Twitch and how to use them if you're an entrepreneur or a creative, or I should say and or a creative. And this coming week's episode is no different. It's another big, big conversation. It goes in depth. He offers so much wisdom about how to up your podcast game, if that's what you're doing, but also how to reach out for for connection with people through social media and other forms of media to, to grow your business, to elevate what you're doing. And as they say, a rising tide lifts all boats. And T is incredibly generous with his wisdom and knowledge to give you that information. That's coming Wednesday, the 4th of November. I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, I'm reminding you to listen, learn, laugh, and love a lot.
Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Today's episode was produced by Isolde Trachtenberg and is copyright 2020. As always, please remember this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Past performance does not guarantee future results, although we can always hope. Until next time, this is Isolde Trachtenberg, and I send you all of my love.